everybody and welcome to this video where I would like to invite you guys to learn a little more about my Goddess Awakening course that I created last year in 2016 and ran for the first time in 2016 and that I am going to be running again this year in 2017 in August. So um, August 7th we start and I'm really really excited and looking forward to this next year of Goddess Awakening of eight weeks of empowerment, self-discovery and working with the different archetypes archetypes of the goddess. So I really got a lot from creating the course and working through it with everybody last year, um, even as someone that's been practicing their pagan spiritual craft for a long time, let's not do any maths, a long time, I found that I accessed archetypes and parts of the goddess and therefore parts of myself that I actually hadn't been deeply connected to before. So I found this course and its structure enabling me to really go to those places and learn more and heal and release and to maybe work with aspects of the goddess that I previously didn't find too comfortable. And you know that's not actually the scary parts, it's more the gentler parts of the goddess for me that were a bit of a challenge to work with. So it's a really beautiful course and I'll explain more about it. Um, if you would like to know more about the course from other people's perspectives I do have um, some video testimonials at the end of this video and also on my website lordalligan.com but I'll put the links down below. Um, I've got lots of written testimonials on my website and more um, written up descriptions of the archetypes of the course and how it's put together. So, Goddess Awakening is an online course, so it's a global community. Wherever you are in the world, you can work on this course, um, and I really love that. There's a central hub with our private Facebook group. That's a central hub where everyone connects, shares their experiences, and makes friends with each other. Um, but in your inbox, in your email inbox, every week, twice a week, there is a, um, there's two handouts per week, so you get a video each week, one video about the archetype, the goddess that we're working with. You receive copious amounts of worksheets and work homework, um, and I do really do like a good worksheet. <laughs> you, reserve, you receive an in-depth meditation as well each week, as well as personal guidance on the page. So you have a lot to go through each week, however, there is no um, pressure at all that you finish this course in eight weeks. The course lasts for eight weeks, we look at a different archetype each week, but the time you take to do the course is completely up to you. This is your course um, and your time. I've had people taking more than eight months to, create, to complete the course. Um, some people have taken um, maybe even a year to connect with it. So we've just taken a few weeks. It really is up to you. I had a lot of people on last year's course that went through the eight weeks and at the end of it started back through the cycle again and went a little bit deeper. So because all of the, the magical tools that you are supplied with over this course um, will be with you for, for as long as your computers and the internet and life <laughs> is with you, then you can take as long as you need and revisit this course whenever you wish. Um, so it's really lovely, there's no pressure. However, we've got quite a, a strong pace with the group, um, just so we keep really connected, keep vital, keep excited about what's going on. We don't let the energy drop. It's a very lovely, intensive few weeks. So that is what you receive in a nutshell each week. Um, but let me show you my Goddess Awakening Wheel and look at what we will be working with on the course. It's laminated so it's shiny. <laughs> I do love a lamination. Okay so the Goddess Awakening Wheel. I was inspired to create this with eight aspects of the goddess. Honestly you, of course we could have gone further than eight aspects. We could have gone down the rabbit hole of many archetypes, but I found that actually eight archetypes worked really well and made a nice holistic circle to work within. Um, because traditionally, in lots of spiritual practices, when we look at the Divine Feminine and we look at the Goddess, it's often that we give, we're give we given the archetypes of Maiden, Mother, and Crone. And Maiden, Mother, and Crone represent obviously different phases of life, and different phases of womanhood, but also the different phases of the moon. So we have waxing, and we have full and waning here. Um, but for me, for many different ways, which I do explain in, in the uh, worksheets and video, this didn't really 
fit where I was and how I was feeling. I was definitely the maiden in some aspects and mother in some aspects and maybe the crone in other aspects, but I felt there was so much more to the goddess and so much more to what stage of the journey we're on in different parts of our lives than just that. So I'm going to go through briefly um, how we go through this course, where we start and where we end over the eight weeks. We spend a week with each archetype, starting with the mother, because at the beginning of all life there is the mother. Mother Earth, one of the, well literally the oldest um, archetypes that humanity has ever created and thought about was the mother goddess. So we start where our ancestors started and we look at mother goddesses from all over the globe and we look at the mothering nurturing instincts in our own lives and we look at the history of goddess worship over thousands and thousands of years. Second week we go towards the maiden goddess so we go towards the fresh childlike energy of the maiden, the new start, the innocence and it does not matter what you know what era of your life you are in you can be the maiden and in fact it's exceptionally healthy to be the maiden sometimes to get that excited to not have the cynicism of our older years so that fresh beautiful new energy of the maiden comes in week two and each week we go through different goddesses from all over the world we look at different stories and myths we look at crafts meditation we look at ceremony as well um, and you can, if you wish, go through the whole course with one or two goddesses in mind, or you can explore a whole um, world of goddesses. This could also be a very useful course if you're looking to find a goddess that you really, really connect with. Um, week three is the wild goddess. So the goddess of the wild woods, of the hunt, of the mountains and the wild places. The raw force of femininity that cannot be controlled or contained. This is the week of the wild goddess and this is a very fun week where we really reconnect and rewild and um, yeah a very powerful nature based week of awesome <laughs> and we look at the goddesses that have really owned that archetype throughout the throughout the years um, and again even if you are on this path for many years of your own spiritual development um, goddess awakening just allows you to go that deeper um, parts to your journey and as I mentioned earlier it can help you access parts of the goddess that maybe you hadn't gone to. Um, the love goddess is in week four the goddess of love, the goddess of beauty, the goddess of passion and the pure wave and tide of love and self-love and we really work on love and nurturing ourselves and others and really luxuriating in beauty in week four so another lovely week. Week five we go to the warrior goddess. We go to the goddesses, I'm trying to find the um, statue here. The, the goddesses like the Morrigan, like Athena, like Andraste. We have the warrior goddesses coming in. And this is a week of really tuning in to our own warrior power, tuning into our own strength and what do we believe in, what do we fight for. Next we have the queen goddess. So as we go towards week six, we bring all the energies we've worked with so far you know, there's the mothering, the maiden, the wild, the love, and we bring it in towards the warrior, sorry, we bring it towards sovereignty. We really take ownership of our own power and we look at our lives and where maybe we give away power and where we can really be the queen in our own day-to-day -day lives. Again, we look at archetypes and myths of goddesses from the globe and from fairy tales, from um, our own shamanic journey and meditations that come to us with the queen archetype and what they wish to show us. Then we go into the realms of the dark goddess. Now the dark goddess is a goddess of going into our own shadow, going into the underworld, going into face those deep and dark and powerful parts of ourselves that maybe we've locked away and been too afraid to explore. But actually with the compassion of the dark goddess, we walk through those veils and we find ourselves he healed and we find ourselves discovering treasures within ourselves, within our souls and within the goddess that maybe we hadn't previously been aware of. And week eight, we have the crone goddess. We gather around the fire of the crone. We listen to her wise stories, her age old wisdom, and we learn um, the magic between the worlds and the wisdom of age and what it can offer us. So there is so much. And again, we look at 
in each archetype. It's your time to explore these archetypes and how they work within a goddess that maybe you're interested in or maybe a goddess you've never heard of. It really is your time and your course to explore different aspects, different goddesses and look at all the rich archetypes of divine feminine around the world and awakening that within us. So it's a fun packed and really empowering and healing packed course and you can work at your own pace, at your own level and you will be supported and guided along the way. So this, this course is for females and for males. Men have been on this course as well. Um, so it's not just specifically for women, men who would like to learn more about the goddess and the divine feminine as well within themselves are more than welcome to join the course. So we start on August the 7th as I said um, I do have early bird pricing. It was until the 10th, but I'm going to extend it until the 15th of July. Um, so that's £80 for this course. Um, after that, it goes up to £90. So if you would like to take advantage of the early bird pricing of this course, it is being extended um, until the 15th of July. And then we all start on the 7th of August and we join together. We open our circle. We prepare ourselves for eight weeks of devotion to the goddess and devotion to ourselves. It's a really powerful thing. So you don't even have to be pagan to be involved in this course. This course attracts Wiccans, pagans, witches, people of a general spiritual persuasion. You don't have to be in a goddess worshipping um, spiritual path. You can use this course to simply connect with the divine feminine within yourself and learn to love, heal, nurture the different archetypes of womanhood within yourself. So this is an open course for you to be accepted and to grow and to learn wherever you are at. So I cannot wait to share this journey with you. Um, come and join us. Uh, we're going to start on August the 7th, but if you book before um, July the 16th, it will be £80 as opposed to £90. Um, so saving a tenner is always good. Um, and I cannot wait to share this journey with you. If you'd like to hear more about what other people thought about this course, stay tuned. If you want to go straight over there and book your place, go over to lauradelegan.com and follow the Goddess Awakening um, flyer on the website and you'll be taken straight to the booking page. And um, I cannot wait to share this Goddess journey with you. Much love. Any questions, do let me know at lauradelegan at gmail.com and I will speak to you all soon, see you all soon and sending you lots of love. Bye. Of Goddess Awakening was profound. Investing in the Divine Feminine with Laura through the meditations and tools that she offers, as well as connecting with the men and women from all across the globe, um, was just really amazing. Hi, my name is Anne. I'm here to let you know that Laura Dalligan's Goddess Awakening course is available for 2017. I thoroughly enjoy being part of last year's group. It was truly the spiritual experience. Laura is very adept at leading guided meditations, providing the information, and allowing you to learn for yourself um, to do the research and, and come to your own sense, your own goddess, your own information. It's a wonderful welcoming course. It brought me to a feeling of home, really. I felt like I had returned to myself. I cannot thank Laura enough for that, and I highly recommend the course again. Don't miss it. If you can, if you can get in <laughs> this year, do it. If not, wait till next year. It is well worth it. Enjoy. Hi. I was in two minds about whether to take this course, but I'm so glad I did. I absolutely loved it. I learned so much from the numerous handouts and the videos that came with this course. And the Facebook page was an absolute joy. I would thoroughly recommend anybody take this course. Bye. Greetings, everybody. Uh, last year, I had the chance to be able to take um, the Totem's Awakening course, as well as the Goddess Awakenings course uh, with uh, our fabulous instructor, Laura Dalligan. And I understand that she's offering uh, the Goddess Awakenings course again this year and in 2017 and I want everyone to know um, that please if you get a chance to sign up please sign up you will not regret it it was a fabulous uh, course 
um, and I learned so much about the various aspects of the goddess, including the mother aspect as well as the crone aspect. What I also enjoyed about the class was being able to interact on, in a closed Facebook uh, group setting to interact with other students from all over the world, including the United States as well as the United Kingdom. And that was that was incredible. Um, Laura Dalligan offers all different kinds of modalities and tools to help you explore these different aspects, including um, craft making projects uh, that you can do on your own, you know, while you're taking the course, as well as meditations, uh, visualizations, as well as uh, written coursework. And uh, it's almost like a written lecture um, online series that that she offers to give you um, you know information regarding the different aspects of the goddess as well as examples of the different aspects of the goddess like for example the maiden aspect of the goddess an example would be the Greek goddess Artemis um, for the crone uh, an example of a crone goddess would be Hecate or the Norse goddess of the of the dead would be hell. Uh, she would be an aspect of the crone. Um, and there's also Bave or Bob, the aspect of the crone goddess, of, you know, the more the crone aspect of the goddess Morrigan. So um, please, if you get a chance to sign up, you won't regret it. Um, you will thoroughly enjoy uh, taking this course. Laura Dalligan is a fabulous instructor. She makes herself available to all the students um, that take her courses. Anytime you have any questions, she is available uh, to be able to help you uh, during the course and even after the course um, to help you with your own uh, self-discovery and your own exploration of this of the of the goddess. Um, so, again, uh, I highly recommend this course. Um, thank you. Blessed be.